Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this topic, the percentile and the T distribution. So we have this given table and we have this percentile, the sample size and the T value. So to find the T value of this 48th percentile, so we're going to use this method that's 100 minus 40 equals 60 then we need to convert this 60 to decimal so 60 in decimal that's 0 0.60 and this one is the area to the right of this 48th percentile then we need to solve for the degrees of freedom so that's n minus 1 so n is the sample size so we have this 23 minus 1 so therefore the degrees of freedom is 22 so to find now the t value for this 48th percentile so we're going to use this table since the area to the right of this 48th percentile is 0 0.60 so we have this t.60 and for the degrees of freedom that's 22 so this is the degrees of freedom so therefore, the T value is 0 0.256. Then for this given, so for this 75 percentile, so we have 100 minus 75, so that's 25. Then convert this one to decimal, that's 0 0.25. So this is now the area to the right of this 75 percentile and to find the degrees of freedom so that's 20 minus 1 so therefore the degrees of freedom is 19 so to find now the t value so using this table since 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 then the degrees of freedom that's 19 so this one is 19, so therefore, that the value is 0 0.688. Then for this 98th percentile, so we have 100 minus 90 equals 10. Then to convert this one to decimal, that's 0 0.10. So this is now the area to the right of this 98th percentile. And for the degrees of freedom, that's... 25 minus 1 so the degrees of freedom is 24 so to find now that the value so for this 0 0.10 and the degrees of freedom that's 24 so therefore that the value is 1.318 then for the 95th percentile so we have 100 minus 95 equals 5 then to change this one to decimal that's 0 0.05 so this is now the area to the right of this 95th percentile and for the degrees of freedom so we have 15 minus 1 so the degrees of freedom is 14 so to find now that the value so we have 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 and the degrees of freedom is 14 so we have 14 so therefore the t value is 1.761 then for this 97.5 percentile so we have 100 minus 97.5 equals 2.5 then to convert this one to decimal that's 0 0.025 so this is now the area to the right of this 97.5 percentile then for the degrees of freedom that's 10 minus 1 so the degrees of freedom is 9 and to find now the t value so we have this 0 0.025 so 0 0.025 and the degrees of freedom is 9 so therefore the t value is 2.262